Hello and welcome to my studio. Uh, it's been a while since I've put any posts up or done any newsletters and I guess I should address that first. Um, I planned on doing a big happy New Year's newsletter in the first week of January, uh, but I basically got run over by that flu bug on January 1st. Uh, it kind of knocked me on my butt for the first week of January. We then had a vacation in Colorado. I still wasn't over it and I got altitude sickness on top of the flu so that when I came back the doctors were actually concerned that it might actually be going to pneumonia. So anyways, here we are now 10 days later in a full run of tetracycline uh, and I didn't get pneumonia, it's starting to get better and I'm almost 100% back. So this is actually my second day back in the studio since New Year's. So it's been a bit of a, uh, bit of a crappy first start of the year for me but I'm excited about uh, moving forward. So what I like to do generally at the end of each year is kind of look back on what we did last year and then also look forward to the new year. Um, so anyways, a little late uh, for the New Year's thing, but better late than never. So some of the things I'm really excited about last year, the biggest milestone was that my son Cameron came to work for me full time last year. And we've been looking forward to this for several years. He's been working for me uh, during the summers, but there's a lot of big projects that we'd kind of held in abeyance until he was here. So as soon as he got here, we got right on those. And the first of those was we had 18 new limited editions released. So Cameron spent the majority of the summer doing all the digital imaging of those, deciding which ones we were going to print, uh, and then doing the actual prints. And we had our uh, new editions uh, open house uh, in, I believe it was September, that was very successful. The new prints have been really well received, uh, both through uh, direct sales and also through our gallery. So that was a really big deal. The second thing um, that, that we did was my YouTube channel. I guess that was kind of concurrent with that. So that was also a really big thing. I'd been doing a few posts to that uh, prior to Cameron getting uh, out of school. But we he spent the summer learning all of the technologies and the software and uh, digital compositing after the fact to the point that we've now got a number of uh, videos posted on YouTube. So that was a very exciting thing. And then last but not least in the fall, he spent a couple months basically we went over my wish list of all the things that I would like to have on a website and all the things I would like a website to do. And he basically designed a new website for me from scratch that I'm very excited about. Um, and so I'll just tell you some of the features of this that I really like. First of all, on the home page, if you scroll down below the image, you'll see a section called wet paint. And here is where we are going to be posting every new painting that I finish. As soon as it's photographed, it'll be uploaded on the website. So you'll be able to come back, you know, anytime you want, and you'll be able to see the newest paintings that I've done since the last time you checked it. So that's something that I've always wanted to have and I'm really excited about. In the gallery section, we've totally revamped that as well. Um, we have all of our galleries listed and then under each gallery section we have the thumbnails of the paintings that they currently have available. And if you click on a thumbnail, you'll see the full size image. This will allow you kind of one stop to see what I have out at all of my galleries. Um, and this is also going to be updated on a weekly basis. So you'll be able to go at any time, come back and see what I have where. I'm also running a blog on my website. And this is because um, I'd kind of forgotten that to be able to get the posts on my Facebook page, you actually have to be a Facebook subscriber and signed into Facebook. And I noticed at my open house, a lot of people who are not into social media said they'd really love to see all of this information, but they don't want to sign into Facebook or Instagram or whatever. So we're going to run a parallel series of posts on my website, on the blog, basically what goes up on my Facebook will be there so that you don't have to join Facebook to see all of my posts. And we also have a section on, new section on there relating to commissions. Um, I get a lot of requests every year for, from people to do paintings for them. They have a certain, certain series that I've done that they really like and they want something in a certain size. Um, and so I thought I may as well put that up on the website, all the information about that. But we run a very, we don't do the typical uh, commission where it's very structured and you put a deposit down and you know have a lot of input. Um, it's very loosey goosey. You would basically say to me something like, I really like you know, the Lake Batiste birch scenes that you do, the winter scenes, and I'd be interested in something like say a 24 by 30. And I'll go ahead then and do something like that. And if you like it, you buy it. If you don't, you don't. So there's no pressure on anyone. If you don't like it, it just goes out to my galleries. But I also don't take a lot of input. I'm not going to put your cottage into the scene and I'm not going to get into taking detailed notes about what you want. I mean, I'm assuming that I'm the artist. I know better than you. Um, what would make a great painting? Um, so there's that section on my website. If you're interested in that, you can check that out. 
I guess the other thing that really stood out about last year is last year was the year of the big paintings. I did a number of really large paintings last year, a number of four by fives, four by sixes, four by sevens, and the response to those has been overwhelming as well. Out of all of those big pieces that I did, I believe there's only one left at uh, List Gallery currently. So that's something you can probably continue to see me doing going forward as I'm really enjoying the large format. Actually, this piece behind me is a four by five commission um, as well. So the big pieces, that was a big thing. And I had two solo shows last year. I had a solo show at Coyman Galleries, again, that featured the big pieces, um, as well as a number of smaller pieces. And that went very well. And then I had my solo show at List Gallery, which was just phenomenal. It basically blew open the sales records for any show I've ever had before. Um, I think we sold 80% of the pieces in a two week period. Um, so that was exciting and I'm actually going to be, I've talked to Brian that basically there's a front wall in the gallery that's going to be mine basically continuously as long as I can keep them supplied with paintings. So I'm really looking forward to that and that's going to be one of my big commitments this year is to keep that wall at the front of list gallery filled. So um, yeah, I'm very excited about that. So that's kind of looking back on last year. Uh, looking forward to this year in terms of what I'm excited about. Um, it's a number of things. Right now, Cameron's working on a catalog of our G-Clays so that we'll be able to print it uh, via Blurb or one of the other kind of commercial uh, print-on-demand sites so that we'll have a catalog available. Um, that you know We'll send these out to our galleries, of course, but we'll also be able to send them out to you if you're interested or include them with purchases of large G-Clays so that you'll be able to see all the work that we have out there. One of the other things um, that I'm excited about this year, uh, it's on my website, is there's the Tim Packer Studio Gallery. It's kind of been my dream and hope for the last several years that I would be able to carry an inventory of work um, at my home studio gallery throughout the year. I get a ton of requests every year from people wanting to come out into a studio visit and see what I have here. And typically I have nothing. It's all out at my galleries. And so this year I did a lot of soul searching uh, and look, really looking at what galleries are really kind of, um, you know, doing the best for me. So I'm going to be ending up cutting back a number of galleries, focusing on fewer galleries. Um, and I'm also going to focus on maintaining a steady inventory of work here at my studio. So for those of you that call that are interested in looking at work, I should always have work here. Uh, now, I don't have anything, well, I shouldn't say, I've got about four or five pieces here right now. I've got a bunch of commissions to catch on and catch up on, and then that's what I'm going to be focusing on is the pieces for the studio gallery. So I'm excited about that. You'll be able to see that as well on the website if you just look under the Tim Packer Studio Gallery. As I mentioned, we've got the new website up there, and we, we kind of wanted to get it up and launch before it was fully resolved. The last thing we have to do is the e-commerce section. Um, so Cameron's going to be working on that in the spring um, where you'll be able to just through a click of a button purchase any of our products using your credit card or PayPal. Um, we are also now for the first time um, going to be willing to ship uh, stretched G-Clays. We hadn't been doing that in the past just because of the logistics involved and having all of the various size packaging here and the work involved in getting that packaged up. Now that Cameron's working full-time for me, that's something we are going to be taking on. So even now, if you're interested in purchasing a G-Clay stretch, you'll have to call us and um, you know we can get your information over the phone and deal with the shipping. But before the end of the year, it should be a one-click experience where you just click buy and we'll ship it out to you stretch. So I'm excited about that. And last but not least, um, I know the, the G-Clays are a much less expensive alternative than my originals for those of you who like my work, but they're still fairly pricey. Um, and I also realize too, I have actually a lot of university and college students and young people who are following my work and fans of my work. Um, but even for them, the G-Clays I think are out of the price range. So we're looking at this year doing some open edition uh, releases and in fact plaque mounting those so that we can you know, streamline the cost in there that you'll still be able to enjoy my work but for a, a much less expensive option for people who are on a tighter budget. And that also will really facilitate the shipping as well if it's plaque mounted, we don't have to worry about, for, about glass breaking or anything like that. So that's kind of what's going on other than I guess this last year, eight months for Cameron, it's been a huge learning experience. So on top of doing all 
on the top of you know maintaining the various things that we're doing he said he's basically learning a new technology a new software system and a whole new process every couple months once we've got everything done and in place i'm really excited about us being able to dig deep and just continue to to really increase the amount of uh of, of um content that we're putting out there so both for our youtube channel our facebook posts our instagram and all of our products um, and things like that so uh, yeah so that's kind of what's been going on with me and that's what you can look forward to in the new year so um, i look forward to seeing you next time bye for now